Hey guys and welcome to today's vlog. So I'm going to be reviewing Daring and Disruptive by Lisa Messenger. I actually picked this one up when I was in the airport um, up in Byron Bay. I was only there for five days and I took two books with me but then when I landed I thought I needed a third book which is yeah so me and I ended up finishing it on the way back to Melbourne on the flight home so I really enjoyed it. I found it very beneficial and there's a lot of stuff that I have underlined and by a lot I mean like a lot. Not every page but definitely a lot of different pages have all of my markings there um, and I have little annotations going on so one exclamation mark means it's important three exclamation marks is like a don't forget you can quote them on this um, and then I even write little notes at the top of the page as well I love to annotate my books so I feel like that means that I can't really lend anyone my books either because I've already made it my own. Um, typically if I recommend a book to a friend I'll just buy them their own copy because I like all of my books and I keep them on my shelf so yeah. Alright so let's get into this book and yeah if you guys want to check out any other of my book reviews then I'll make a playlist of all of them that I'm doing and yeah you can you can watch them all in one go um, but yeah this is Jess's book club so let's get into it okay so Lisa Messenger is the founder and editor-in-chief of The Collective so The Collective is a magazine it's available I actually don't know if it's available worldwide but you can definitely get it in Australia and I'm seeing it pop up everywhere um, and she does a whole lot of other stuff as well she has a publishing company she's worked in PR she does a lot um, she's very, very well established and very well known in the business arena in Australia. Um, and I think she's also got a very um, significant international presence too. Um, I loved this book because I think my last book review didn't really have much structure. So I'm going to try and structure this one a little bit better for you guys. I want to talk to you about the gist of the book, why I like it, and also the sort of things included in this book. And I'm going to try and go chronologically. Um, but the gist of this book is it is about her struggles and triumphs as an entrepreneur, as someone starting their own business um, and building it from the ground up and laying that foundation. And I can definitely relate to that because I am also an entrepreneur. I run my own business as well. I've got YouTube. I've got my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. And I also have my educational stationery line, Educationery. So I definitely see myself as a businesswoman, um, a social influencer. I wear many, many hats. And there's a lot of stuff that I can relate to in her book. So I found it very valuable. And it also just was very reassuring um, to know that you know other people experience setbacks or struggles and they just push through and, and things come good and, and I think that's yeah that's just the case if you have a passion and you have a vision in mind then you just have to stick to it and those challenges that come to you are opportunities for growth they're not there to set you back they're there to teach you a lesson and when you learn that lesson you advance to the next thing so I really like this book and if you just have a little bit of a flip through <laughs> I wrote so many things on the inside. I actually have been planning like video ideas as I've been reading it and yeah, I, I got very inspired. So that's the inside and this is actually a recurring design that you see. She'll have little excerpts, excerpts of her journal entries as well as quotes or positive affirmations and also photos throughout the book. So you really get an insight into who she is, um, her thoughts, her feelings, and what she values, and all of the quotes that they have or that she has throughout the book, they're very, um, they're very inspiring and very motivating. So, for example, this one is: "Don't be, don't be a pedestrian, beige, or follow the status quo. Make change, have attitude, live life viscerally." Get up when you fall down, be brave, be bold, be gutsy, expose yourself to the best things that humans have done and bring them into your own business. So she's a real go-getter and uh, so am I. I. I dream big. I dream like to the stars, not even the moon. I'm like, I go for the stars. So I, um, I really liked all of these beautiful quotes and, and positive messages throughout. And some of her journal entries are... Yeah, you can really see her having having a real struggle, um, but always backing herself and, and not losing faith in the process. So I really liked that. Um, and it's interesting to see how she started the collective, how it all came about, and um, what was what was challenging for her setting up that kind of business, um, which is not always the case for all people setting up a business or starting their own business. 
but a lot of the challenges that she faced I think are very common and a lot of people can relate to. And I also chose this book because a lot of you ask me how I started my YouTube channel, how I started my stationery line, how to run a business, how to run a business online, or that you want to start your own business and you've got different ideas in mind and you don't just want to follow that streamlined approach of go to school, go to college or uni, get a job, get married, have kids and stay in that job forever and the end. Like that's not really the case anymore. There are so many kinds of jobs that you can have. You can create work for yourself, social media, is limitless it is giving people so many amazing opportunities and I know a lot of people are drawn to having an online business and working for themselves because it gives you flexibility so yeah I think that hopefully you guys will like this book too and um, I just want to share with you a couple of things that I underlined that really stood out to me and why I found um, these these excerpts or, or these chapters really beneficial so this page, page 70, um, it's called The Moment of Truth and she talks about how she found her purpose and that she literally surrendered to the universe and said, I will clean toilets in Africa if that is what I am here on this earth to be doing. If that is going to make me genuinely happy and fulfill my purpose, I will clean toilets. And when she got to that point, that is when she started to have all of these ideas and she began to formulate them and create what is now known as the collective. So it's really interesting to see how she got to the point where she could fully trust in the process of her life and know that she was here for a reason. And it was just about allowing herself to figure out what that reason was and asking, asking what is it that I'm here for? How can I be of service? How can I be of service to humanity? How can I make a positive difference? And um, yeah, I, I love that. And of course she says she's a very spiritual person. Um, she prayed and she, you know, she's gone to ashrams and she's gone to India and um, you know, you don't have to be a very spiritual person to relate to this book though. It's just really interesting to see, um, you know, how she came about this idea and, and why she does what she does. And the reason is because it gives her that purpose. And um, yeah, I think that's really important in anything that you do in life with work. It has to be fulfilling. It has to give back. It can't just be completely selfish. It does have to be self-fulfilling in the sense that I love doing YouTube because it makes me feel good. I like to be creative. I like to learn new skills. I like to film and edit, but I also do YouTube because I want to help people and I want to inspire and I want to motivate and I want to support other people on their journey too. So there's got to be a bigger picture in mind, um, but you have to love what you do as well. I've actually bent a couple of pages because I didn't have a pen at the time that I was reading these pages. Um, so this one is be detached from outcome. So here she says, if you feel you have found your purpose, it becomes easier to be detached from day to day outcomes that may or may not go to plan. And that's because you know the bigger picture and you know that it's okay to deviate along the way and to be undeterred when things don't go exactly to plan. And I am so like this lately. I used to freak out when things wouldn't go to plan with my stationery line or my YouTube channel. Like if I lost subscribers or if I wasn't making as many sales as I wanted to or something happened with the website, like all these kind of things that would just freak me out and I would run around like a headless chicken and just feel really highly anxious and stressed and forget that everything's gonna be okay. Like. Things happen for a reason and it's all going to play out and you're going to learn from it and six months or six years down the track, you're going to be able to look back in hindsight and see that's why that happened and look what I learned or look what I took from that situation. So if you know that there's a bigger picture in mind, if little things don't go to plan, whatever it is, then you're not going to stress out as much because you realize that it's only a really small piece of the puzzle and as long as you have that overarching vision at the forefront of your mind, then I don't know, it's, it's very comforting, it's very reassuring. Now on page 128, it's titled Your Health and she talks about how the healthy body is most definitely equal to a healthy mind. So you have to take care of your body, you need to make sure that you're taking your breaks, that you're not letting yourself get run down or burnt out, that you're taking, I don't know, a well-deserved holiday every now and then. And we are not robots. We cannot work 24 seven, seven days a week. And it's really important that as we look after our bodies, um, that 
yeah, you notice that difference within your own mental health. So, I mean, on a really, on a really basic level, if you go for a run and you come back, you feel more energized, your mind is clearer. And something that I read recently, which wasn't in this book, but it relates very much to this, is the term walk it off, that you can genuinely walk off a problem. Like you can sort through things as you go for a walk. So if you're looking after your body, then your benefits from the body are going to filter through into your mind. Yeah, so she talks about how it's hard to run a business and be a good friend, family member, leader, partner, or lover when your health is compromised. And people often comment on her abundance of energy, asking where she gets it all from. Um, and she just says she's very grateful for her health and she doesn't take it for granted. And she always makes sure to set aside time to be physically active and yeah, just be using her body. So she's got this non-negotiable that she exercises every single week. So every week she has yoga on the deck in her office and she really sets this great, um, great example for her employees as well. And then another thing I wanted to briefly touch on because I think this is really, really relevant to anyone that's looking to start their own business is she talks about your personal brand and how to, how to build a brand that is genuine and that people can really connect to. So she says it should be authentic, cohesive, dependable, and genuine, and it should reflect who you are, how you want to be seen and who you want to be in the world. And so it made me take a step back and look at my stationery line, look at my YouTube channel, my blog posts, my public speaking, this whole idea of study with Jess, like who is study with Jess? And at the end of the day, study with Jess is me, is reflective of my morals, my values, my passions, and my opinions and my thoughts and my feelings. So it's a very genuine and unique brand. No one can ever copy me because I am me. Like there's only one me. And like I was saying in Connor Franta's book, there's only one person with the exact combination of creativity and determination and intellect. And that's you. No one else has that exact same combination. So it's important that we're true to ourselves and that we just put that out into the universe because that's genuine and that's something that people can really connect to and relate to. And that's exactly what I want with my channel. I want people to be able to relate to what I'm saying. I want people to feel supported and like I can empathize with what they're going through. So yeah, I really like that page and it just, yeah, it made me think about my personal brand and how I'm really happy with what I've been creating. And I really like that my stationery reflects me and my positive vibe and the idea that, you know, studying can be enjoyable and it's inspiring and the products are colorful and happy and helpful. So I, um, yeah, I think it's really important to think about what you want to be creating, especially if you're going to start your own business and how it's going to be reflective of you so that people know that it's genuine and that they see value in it. So there's a lot of other things that she talks about in business. Um, she talks about how to gain more exposure or how to collaborate with other brands, um, how to build a successful business online. I won't really go into too much detail in that because I think you really should pick up the book and read it for yourself. Um, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but I just wanted to highlight the overarching themes, which are to make sure that you're taking care of your own mind, body, and soul, that you're setting aside time for yourself, that you're putting something out into the universe that's genuine and reflective of you and that you keep that vision in mind and you keep that goal at the forefront of your mind so that when things become challenging, you don't give up and that you know that there's a bigger picture in place. I really enjoyed this book. I found it very insightful. Um, it was nice to pick up a book and read something written by another entrepreneur because I really saw a lot of similarities between the challenges that she's gone through in the past and that I've gone through and that I probably will continue to go through down the track because business is not just some crazy ride that you go on. You know, there are ups and downs and there's highs and lows, but it's, it's amazing and it's very fulfilling. So if any one of you are looking to start your own business, then yeah, check out Lisa Messenger. She has a ton of books. There's actually, I think at the back of this book, a, um, an outline. Yeah, collect them all. She's got six books out at the moment and this is the first one that I've picked up which is by her but I'm pretty keen to get another one of her books and um, yeah, see what else she's been writing about because I think if I like one book written by an author then typically I like all of their work so I think I'm probably going to make another trip to my local bookstore and see what they've got in stock.
All right, I'm going to end the vlog here and I am going to go do all of my emails for today because I haven't done them yet and they're just piling up a little bit. So I'm sorry, Jessica Katz, if I haven't gotten back to you right away, it's because I've got a lot of stuff going on, but I do my best to write back to each and every one of you. So I'm going to get on to that. Um, yeah, have an awesome day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's book review. And if you do read this book, then comment below, share your thoughts. If you've read it already, let me know what you think. And if there are any books you want me to read and do a review on, please share your um, suggestions down below too, because I'm always looking for new books to buy. And yeah, I'm like a vacuum cleaner for knowledge right now. I love it. I love reading. I used to hate reading, but now it's like an obsession. All right, I'm going to end the vlog here, but have an awesome day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.